Hello everyone and welcome to a blog to watch. My name is Aaron Shapiro and today we are going to be looking at the Alpina Star Timer Pilot Heritage. Um, this is a new release from Alpina, one of their new GMT watches that I think is kind of interesting, kind of a vintage inspired barrel case situation going on here. And overall kind of a kind of a cool piece from Al Alpina. It's very unusual, kind of quirky. Um, we're looking at a 42 millimeter stainless steel case uh, with a 40, let me look at my notes here, 45 millimeter lug to lug measurement. And what I think is really interesting about this case shape in particular is that it wears, honestly, the first time that I put it on, I felt like it kind of wore a bit like a, like a dinner plate in a way. It's, it's sort of squarish and wide. Um, let me pop it on my wrist here and I'll show you guys. But not, um, it's, it's squarish and wide, I should say, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, I feel like this watch is fairly proportionate. My wrist trends like seven, seven and a quarter, depending on the temperature outside. And I feel like um, this Alpina, it wears really comfortably. Um, one thing that I think is interesting about it, if I could knock anything on the case, it would be these corners here can be a tiny bit sharp. I feel like a little chamfer there would have solved that issue entirely. Um, so one of the things that I think is interesting about this watch in particular, especially with this really interesting and sort of contrasting, um, case with all these different planes and facets and whatnot, is I knew that Alpina was going to need to, um, really investigate some interesting case finishes in order to pull off a, a case like this. And if you look, um, they have sort of this like sunburst brushing along the crystal here, which leads to a polished wide bevel, and then brush sides. And I think that, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of like a, a Speedmaster Mark II or something along those lines. And I think that they pulled off the finishes for the case really successfully. I think it's interesting. It catches the light as you as it moves on your wrist and whatnot. And it, it's pretty cool. Um, secondly is the case back. It has Alpina's mountain case back with the, the kind of plain outline here, which is indicative of their Star Timer series. Nothing too much um, to say here. 10, at um, 10 atmosphere water resistance. And then moving on, you have these dual crowns. Now, these are kind of interesting. Um, this is a compressor styled case. So unscrewing the top crown, it'll pop out. And then you are adjusting the GMT bezel. So then screwing that back in, this crown pulls out is not screwed down it pulls out to the first position turning it one way will adjust the date turning it the other way will adjust the local hour so you can see the local hour is advancing like that kind of cool and then if i turn it the other way it'll adjust the date. it is a hacking movement so if i pull it all the way out it'll stop the seconds as well um now kind of speaking about the hacking movement and adjusting the local hour one of the things that i think is interesting regarding the dial is it does have this cool kind of blue sunburst finish and i believe these are available in a handful of different colors but one of the things actually two of the things that i found about this dial that were not ideal in my opinion was um, first and foremost i do feel like these hands are a little undersized for the dial as a whole um, they can get lost against the indices and whatnot, and I just feel they're a little skinny for this overall aesthetic. But then secondly, that is going to be your GMT indicator right there, that arrow on the disc. But then your GMT bezel is running this outer track. So it can take, right now we're lined up perfectly at the hour marker, but if you're in between, it can take a little, it can take a moment's consideration when you're looking at it to really kind of discern that time. Um, these are all, you know, minor issues, but they are things that kind of manifested themselves as I was wearing the watch. Um, so speaking of that GMT movement, I demoed it just a second ago. Uh, this watch contains the AL555 movement, um, which is a Salida derived automatic movement that features an independently adjustable local hour. Now, in, in kind of my research and whatnot, there are a bunch of different names for this style of GMT movement, a Flyers GMT, a True GMT. But to really distill this down, I think it makes the watch much more usable as a travel piece because um, you're able to just jump off the plane, move the local hour around a couple of uh, uh, the local hour hand around a couple of hours and get your local time while your GMT hand stays at whatever time zone you had preset that to, perhaps your home time, for example. Um, so that is really cool. I'm glad that they didn't just opt for the, um, you know, the normal ETA movement with the jumping GMT hand that I feel like is a less, less usable, uh, GMT style. 
So as far as the strap goes, let me put this back on my wrist and I'll show this to you. It comes with a dramatically tapering black leather strap. Um, I think it suits the watch well, and I think that the taper accentuates kind of that barrel case. And then it has an interesting feature here with the buckle, where the far end of the buckle doubles as the first keeper on the strap. Um, overall, I find that to be pretty cool. So just to, uh, just to kind of wrap up some final thoughts on this watch. Um, I think it's an interesting piece. I do think it is, it's cool to kind of see this like barrel cased, um, vintage inspired watch here. Um, Alpina priced these at, let me check my notes here, $1,350. Um, there is not a, there's not a direct competitor for this with the local adjusting hour hand that pops into my head. I'm sure there's something out there that I'm just not aware of, but I couldn't find one in my, in my research. Most of the time at this price point, um, watches will be utilizing the ETA GMT movement with a, that will have a, a quick adjusting GMT hand. So I think the real winning feature of this watch is that local adjusting hour in a GMT movement. Um, if you're okay with some of the dial issues that I explained, I think that a watch like this could be a really good fit for a traveler or someone first getting into mechanical watches that wanted a GMT watch or just an overall kind of vintage inspired watch fan in general. So... Um, anyway, for a more complete review, for better pictures, all of that good stuff, head on over to a blogtowatch.com, and thank you very much.